Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? It has been another week, so that means we have a week's worth of new makeup releases to talk about. With me, we have the fabulous Tia from Tia's Makeup Time. You know the dealio. Her Patreon is going to be below. Uh, I will peer pressure you to join. It's wonderful. And we have this wonderful enigma here, this Grecian goddess, Acacia, who is a lovely Patreon of mine. And no, nobody forced me to say that. Those are my own words. Okay, and uh, Keisha is too cool for putting in social media, so you can't follow her. So you're just gonna have to enjoy her presence right now. Live in the moment. Stop. Stop trying to chase something else. Exactly. Oh, we we have some general announcements, and I'm gonna start off by being a little bit of a petty bee. Now I'm not gonna mention who this is in terms of a brand, but uh, a couple of weeks back, I, I mean, I obviously do or and or every week. Uh, but that's what we call it now and um, I noticed I was getting a few comments because we had talked about a particular brand for all of about six seconds and I just said I didn't like their swatches and then I started to get some comments from people saying some kind of rude things you know I need to talk with their parents and I guess the brand tried to pretend they didn't know anything about it but it was a bit suspicious that they knew what it was that I was talking about and then they said I couldn't choose pictures from their Instagram but the thing is kind of can based upon uh, Instagram's berries policy so I was tempted to kind of be like oh I'll never mention them again on my channel but then I was like no no I'll still mention you so you can't get rid of me that easy I <laughs> am like an STD and I will reoccur <laughs> And here's the thing, if I like their stuff, I'll say it. But if I don't like it, I'll say I don't because that's just how it is. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend anything else. Yeah. So then the next thing we have is Titmouse. Our lovely, lovely Titmouse have added two new brands to their website. So they are now selling Dominic Paul Cosmetics and Artitude Cosmetics. Hurrah. So more things to add to your basket from Titmouse. Menagerie Cosmetics, we have some things to talk about. I was really excited because I managed to bag, or at least I thought I did, bag the Serenity palette with the lipstick. But here's the thing, they've had some issues with shipping outside of the US. So they have cancelled all international orders and have refunded them. I contacted them and they did say that actually those who have ordered internationally, we will eventually be given a sort of an invoice code number so that we can go off and buy it again. But they said they didn't feel comfortable having our money when they didn't know when the product would get to us. So I'm like, okay, okay, that's, that's fair. So just, just for those of you to know, that seems to be what's going on there. And uh, we spoke about Artitude Cosmetics now being on um, Titmouse, but it seems that the owner of Artitude is also coming out with a sub brand where it has nothing to do with makeup. I'm thinking possibly <laughs> jewellery. That is how I'm going to pronounce it now, jewellery. <laughs> and um, oh, another big thing is uh, Dolce & Gabbana are essentially being wound down. Yeah, they did beauty things. I mean, I knew they did perfume, but... I bought the foundation when it first came out a billion years ago and the packaging was beautiful, but it, it wore like crap. Like by the time you got like 10 minutes out of it max before it started to pill. So oh no. I don't know. I think we've solved what happened there. Yeah. Yeah. I anyway, mean, they're being wound down. So if you happen to like any of their stuff, saws. Um, then Lunatic Cosmetics Labs released this big statement where they were basically talking about fast beauty. And they were kind of calling out a lot of the smaller brands who are quite clearly using white label. And they were just kind of saying, yeah, you're going to notice it because you're going to see a lot of the same color stories, a lot of the same packaging. And this is something we have been saying on this channel for quite some time. So it's, it's nice to see some indie brands also talking about it as well, because I mean, it must be tricky for an indie brand who has actually put their yeah. time and effort into their brand. And then they see other people just copying and pasting ideas. But that's it in terms of the general announcements. So that means I have people to thank. A big thank you to Brianna, to Becky, Gillian, Ali, Tess, Louise, Lucy D, Amy, Eve, Sarah L, Missy, Gina, 
Chrissy, Beth, Angela, Laurie, Shalina, Jade, Shanna, Franca, Haley, Callie, Cecily, Heidi, Cheryl, Heather, Daniela, Miss Lime Lottie, Paula, Lauren, Rebecca, Bernadette, Janine, Kylie, Amy Louise, Tony, Amina, Tia, Matty, Lucy O, Sue, Lois, Charlie, Shahina, Chris, Anna, Dawn Christy, and Zara Louise. I much appreciate it. And uh, you know the drill. You guys essentially dictate the content. So if you didn't tag, I'd just be sitting here twiddling my thumbs. These aren't my thumbs. These are just my fingers. These are my thumbs. <laughs> I don't know how to twiddle with them. So I will twiddle with these. Welcome to my brain. Uh, as per usual, huge thank you to my Patreons, two of whom are here today. Yay! Um, you're wonderful. I've had a, a week from hell. No, two weeks from hell. Yeah, I've had a not so great time. And my Patreons have been rather wonderful. So I have no words and I really appreciate you guys. It's time to say a very happy birthday to Heather, Dawn and Manuela. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well done on being expelled from the womb. <laughs> you can probably tell there's there's a theme. There's a theme every week. You know, we weren't going to deviate. Yeah. And uh, because it was Tasia's first time, she was popping her R&R &R cherry. She was like, let's do Greek mythology because we have all been very excited about the Lois Cosmetics palette. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I was struggling with this. Also, I had a little bit of a too long of a nap. So I did this in 40 minutes. This was yeah. Teresa's idea, by the way. Just rubbing salt in all the wounds for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> my, my idea was Hades and Persephone. And uh, annoyingly, my Patreons did the theme as well. I can't even name out everyone who did it because they absolutely smashed it. And I oh my God. Yeah, that was fantastic. This was the brand that absolutely nobody asked for, and yet it's here. Relove by Revolution, which by the way, when I heard Relove, I thought it was like stuff that had already been used and was being given a new home. <laughs> yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, no, but not too far off. They're trying to come for Essence, they're trying to come for Catrice, those really affordable brands that are actually affordable. What Revolution used to be. Yeah. So now that they have to create another brand because they're not affordable anymore. It is like like Revolution. I'm so mm -hmm. confused why we need this. Like, I, I don't hate all of it, but the blushes are a straight ripoff of Elf. Like, these look... These don't look revolution, like they look Catrice, Elf, like Wet n Wild, those affordable brands, like, come on, do I something of your cheap own. packaging. Please. Oh yeah. I really think like, well, it's embarrassing, like you're going to pull that lip gloss out of your purse and your friends are going to be like, oh, you couldn't even get Wet n Wild. Yeah, Inside well, what are you going to expect? For this. Right. Yeah. I do get why the packaging is so like minimum, it's the yeah. price, but still like they're ripping off of an or, like affordable brands that are more affordable than them. I don't think this is acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Like the pricing is ranging from two pounds to four pounds. There's nothing over four pounds there on the site at the moment. So it is very, very, very affordable. Uh, and that is the kindest thing that I can say about it. Uh, it's just, do you know what? When I look at this, I think of the 90s and not like the good things about the 90s, like the Spice Girls and, you know, yeah. back when like diesel and petrol prices were low. No, no, I'm thinking of like how, when we really didn't know what it was that we were doing with our lives. And this is, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. It does make me think that maybe they're having some sort of a midlife crisis over there at Revolution. But they have like five, six, how many brands do they have now there? And they're all the same, same, not shame, all the same. <laughs> well, they should be the shame. So, Freudian slip. Shame. Yes, they are all the shame. <laughs> this is from Tarte and this is their Hydroflex Serum Foundation. It's $39. It does come in 32 shades. 
and you can also get a hydro smoother and blending brush they say there's like niacinamide and stuff in it which by the way niacinamide isn't like everything these days it sounds amazing but i'm not gonna go to buy it yeah. sounds great but i don't get excited about tar are they a thing anymore of all of their recent releases i think this is the one that has annoyed me the least yeah i will let this continue to exist like this doesn't irk me tar have been really horrific in the past when it comes to their shade ranges yeah so at least yeah. they're doing something yeah. about it. i'm 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 gonna give them credit for that because at least if you look at that the darkest shade of foundation is actually quite dark so they're starting to get somewhere at least i not remember they used to just do 50 shades of beige as foundation they forgot the yeah. skin tones so this i think is a, a step in the right direction for them in terms of them actually rectifying the errors of the past but i am not worried because it's not like i spend sleepless nights worrying about tart uh, i don't uh i my sleep is not disturbed by that it's disturbed by other things <laughs> but i do kind of think is this too late all sweet merciful zeus it's very clear how i feel about this this is adept cosmetics and this is their kodan palette so there's some mattes there's some shimmers there's some metallics and there's some duo chromes in there i love this like granted now there's, there's only two mattes so this is like the sort of palette you're gonna have to like pull out other things and you can swap them out yeah for this one i don't know if you pay more but they've said that you don't have to take the mattes which I think I would rather not take them at all if it's too exactly. much. This color store rem reminds me of the Be Perfect Manifest, the big one. It's really pretty. It's, yeah. it's stunning. It's gonna be like crazy expensive though. Yeah, I think they said it's gonna be 60 something dollars because there's no mm -hmm. exact price on it yet. And it is limited edition, which I'm kind of like, oh. I hate when brands do that. I feel like they, use it as a marketing tactic these days limited edition gets you more like people on it yeah. at the first launch if it's not limited edition then people can be like oh i can buy it maybe later but it gets you like oh i need this now because it's limited edition yeah. you know That's i don't cool. like i don't like yeah. that it's so um common now to use limited edition products I, some of it's also there. I know that with this back to the private label, you know, not white label where like you just, there's some, yeah. well, I'm sure we'll see some white label today. Um, but private label is, I, I believe that they don't own the formula. No. So some don't. of it is that as like, you know, your pigment manufacturer, and honestly, unless you have a very expensive contract, the manufacturer of your, your products can sell that to other people. So I think they also were intending to carry some of these longer, but if you look at what has been coming out from other manufacturer, other brands, they're just coming out with very similar shades because they're going, you know, maybe not to the same production place facility, but they may be yeah. going to this, getting the same pigments. So I'm, I mean, I would, I didn't get an Inhydrin. I, I got plain Jane. I didn't get an Inhydrin. I don't know. I'm probably going to get both of those when they come into stock. But I'm also interested in like It's Bell and what like the new It's Bell palette, because maybe that's just going to be the greatest hits of what they're coming out with. And truth be told, it's a fraction of the cost. This is a dose of colors, and this is a collaboration with Naima Tang. And there are two different lip sets. So there's the new lip set, which is $49, that has a liner, a gloss, a matte liquid lipstick, and a classic lipstick. And they also have the Naima's Coral lip set. That's also $49 and has the same sort of things, but obviously in different tones. I just think this is lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. I, this my, I mean, I love her. I would have guessed she was coming with skincare because she is just like her, she glows. Like it's like, I've never seen anybody whose skin is like that luminous, like at all times, but I think it's great. I mean, it's, it's, these are- I like that it's like really dark nude. Like that is actually nude on her. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's harder to find when you're darker skin tone, like an actual nude on you, which is, not like a pink or a, like a, you know, those dark like red shades. So I really like this. Like, I think it's, it's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Price isn't bad. Like you get one, two, three, four products 
on it so it's like 49 that is not that bad actually yeah and then when you uh, consider dose of colors general prices yeah like that's kind of a steal for what you're getting i really like dose of Co uh, colors formula they're liquid lipsticks. one of the liquid lipsticks now it's yeah. the pinky promises and they're so comfortable on the lips they like this just stunning i actually i love it it kind of gives me 90s vibes in a good way you yeah remember the dark vampy lipstick of the 90s it feels like that but in an elevated way look we should just call this the 90s episode because this is more 90s hip dot this is hip dot go home hip dot with your weird collaborations there's Cher's locker set box it's 108 dollars and it has a pink fluffy pen i don't like this at all i i, I don't like it either but i like that it has a pink fluffy pen because she has her pink fluffy pen and she drops it to the ground to try and get christian mm -hmm. to pick it up so you're gonna mm -hmm. pay the 108 dollars for that no i'm gonna go down to paper chase and get a fluffy, fluffy pen. <laughs> i get that like say the packaging or say the lip stuff i like that it has that yellow tartan sort of thing yeah. you know, that little tartan um the palette is so later. boring oh but is the palette itself oh. kind of fluffy it's like oh yeah it yeah looks so but oh, that's oh, like oh, a neutral a palette thing. with pop of blue like come on come on now <laughs> also i feel like even for being cheesy the her her clothes like i remember that she's like i'm wearing alaya it's a very important designer like this is just seems cheap yeah right she's wearing yeah. like 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 couture what is that yeah. cell phone thingy that's another little eyeshadow palette <laughs> yeah, it felt like so two, two, two palettes. Oh. This one wasn't bad enough. I mean, like Keisha was saying, it has that weird material. Like, oh. it's not velvet, it's like a fluffy, furry thing. Right. Anyone who knows anything about makeup, there's a reason why uh, a lot of brands stopped doing that velvety case thing. Why? Yeah. It gets rubby and gross and dirty. Yeah. Do you remember in the 90s when we used to have pencil cases when we went to school and we, we'd start off on day one with that lovely furry pencil case because we thought we were really cool and by the end of the week it was gross and grubby and dirty yeah. and sticky yeah. and like because some amount of moisture had gotten to it it had stuck together. That's what's going to happen to that palette. Yeah. Mac are obviously doing this collaboration with Disney because Disney is doing a collaboration with everyone. I'm going to say it right now, the eyeshadow palette enrages me. I, you can clip I, it apart so that you no, just have two eyeshadows. No, no. I can't believe they did that. Like I no actually that. can't believe they did that. Keisha's right no. though. So somebody else did do that. Florence by Florence. Mills. Yeah, by Mills. Yeah, I, I love the packaging. I love everything like outside of it. I think it looks stunning. Mm. But then like the palette, I'm like, oh, oh God, the palette God. Makes like, no Also sense. the blush, why only one blush shade and why that pale? Like that's not gonna suit everyone. Are we not over this already? Like, do I have to keep saying I think this we should just issue a, a statement at the beginning of every or and or. Yes. Like if you are not inclusive, here find this message just scrolling underneath the screen and also what are those lashes like come on oh. now yeah they say the lash packaging however yeah yeah hype. it's stunning but those lashes like what they're really natural and do you when you think of cruella do you think right. of natural no i do no. like the brushes though yeah, they yeah, remind me so much of the melt uh, Beetlejuice process. Yes. Mm -hmm. wait, but, wait. but this bit still, like, this is actual, like, when you think of Cruella with the brushes, what else could they do, you know? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like you said, it's so like the melt. So again, we have another weird collaboration and this is Colourpop because, you know, it's a day ending in a Y, so we must talk about Colourpop. This is their collaboration with Barbie. So they have this like essentially Malibu set. So there's obviously a palette, there's a highlighter thing, there's 
lip duos, there's faux lashes, and there's a mirror. Uh, the palette itself is $25, which is quite expensive. Yeah, and all pop. Cold. Again, palette with the pop of blue. Okay, it has the yellow and the pink. I give them that. But mm. still, only thing I like in this whole collection is that nude lip in. It looks yeah. stunning. Yeah. Everything else, I don't care. Yeah. I like that hot red, hot red pink lip liner. I will get yeah. that. But doesn't this look like a revolution? Oh yeah. You took the packaging yeah. of it. It looks really cheap. Doesn't it like, just I look? Don't know. Oh, the palette yeah. itself looks very revolutionary. Yeah. And then the, even the lipstick components look really cheap. cheap. And like, like a you get them in a pound shop. Yeah. And like it just. Ooh. Well, I mean the. I mean, the mirror is cute. I'm, I wouldn't mind having that. But if the only things of the collection is lipstick and mirror that you like, it's like, yeah. I mean, what's wrong with this collab collection this week? Like the next yeah. one is so bad. Also. I mean, we said it's it's a week of 90s, but it's also a week of collabs because this is a, what, the 5,000th collab? This yeah. is Siate London and Edna Mode from Pixar. They have this face and cheek mm. palette because, you know, that always works. Putting a face and mm. like cheek eye palette <laughs> together, that's always solid. Oh In ugly packaging, they have some gel liners, uh, which are $19, by the way. What the Ooh. actual? That's expensive, come on. Like, why are the two blushes the exactly the same thing? Come on, if you're yeah. gonna do a palette, then at least have some variety. Like this palette is already so, so oh, horrible. And so much dead space. And so, yeah. so much little, dead space. I don't, I don't why, know. Why does it have like this little head on the middle? Like, are you supposed to spin it? Like, what, what's the I thing? No, mm. I, I am genuinely confused about one of the products because I've never heard this before. Yeah. Because it's soft matte lip powder. $20. What is um, that? But this is like a fingering product then. Like you have to like... <laughs> like everything that they do, like the Jessica Rabbit, the Miss Piggy, everything, this will go on sale. Yeah. yeah. It's so. very weird. Very, very weird. I think um, Seattle is so overpriced. Though. Oh, yeah. Totally. Like, I don't get why they are so expensive. But we do have nice, happy things to talk about. Well, in my opinion, nice, happy things to talk about because Melt have their nudes, nudes, nudes collection and they're cool because they've spelt it as N-O-O-D-S. I'm going to say, I think these are lovely. They have 11 lipsticks and they're in a couple of different neutral tones and they've got these lovely deep browns. I really like this. I like it, but I'm not going to get it because oh, don't come for me now. But I think melt is quite expensive for what it is yeah mm -hmm. i think there's a lot of hype around this brand and if you did a, a blind test on their products versus other lower end you'd see that actually their stuff performs quite similarly to some cheaper brands they just I have totally really good marketing agree. and they have a hype around them which you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna fault them for that well done them great to see that they're yeah. thriving in a in a market that's really difficult to do well in i personally don't wear a lot of nudes and um it's not for me but i think it's nice like i appreciate i think it's head. nice it's yeah. really nice but i do agree with what you say on mel it's very hyped this is from exo beauty so that's from shanik so there is an eyeshadow palette it's the one and only there's two different highlighting palettes they're 25 dollars 48 each there's a lip veil and those are in a couple of different colors and you can get the whole bundle together for 88 dollars 50. this makes a lot of sense for her considering i mean she yeah. just got married this is definitely a set that is very bridal and does make a lot of sense now when i am looking at this uh, eyeshadow palette and i look at the swatches i see slightly less interesting lowest cosmetics rose metal you have yes. it i mean on the other like i see two palettes like on the when they're swatched it has like a cool tone and then like a pinky like that kind of a like mauve and that reminds me of the lowest cosmetics palette like the but not 
but more toned down. Yeah, okay? exactly. And then it has like the cool tones also. This is not for me, but it does make sense for her. It's her makeup aesthetic. It's like a wedding theme. I, I know that a, a lot of people want want like a natural-ish, like a really, like these tones on their eyes when they do get married. So I don't hate it. I don't like the highlighter palette. Like I, I just I'm over the highlighter palettes where it's supposed to work. Do you know what the highlighter palette looks like? The benefit highlighter palettes that they come out with, you know, at Christmas. Yeah. I thought this was a W seven release. Like honestly, when yeah. I took a look at it, the packaging. This is a forty six, forty seven dollar palette. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit so of. Cheap. It looks a bit of like cheap, cheap ish for me. Yeah, like I love Sanic so, but I do get like it does look mm. a bit W7. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was way more interested in the other one, the one she came out before. Um, yeah, so yeah, was, that's the one palette that I would want from her. It's so beautiful, but this is like it's not for me. I think um, a lot of like makeup artists might potentially pick that up as like a bridal palette, like if the quality is good. I think it'll be really good for like a makeup artist. We had such high hopes. We talked about this last week and that Urban Decay was, I can't even say that it's a collaboration with Prince because Prince would not have okayed this. Prince was never okay with him being associated with brands. He never wanted his image on things. So whoever is now managing his estate is clearly going against his wishes, which I'm kind of, eh, that's not great. Here's my positive thought. Packaging, on point. I think the packaging is really, really good. And that's it. I was expecting something really colorful. This side is going to be golden shades and purples. I mean, so, I called it last week. I said there was going to be purples. Uh, be purple rain. It I'm still so not like 100% offended by this, but I'm also not going to get it. But it depends. I see half of a palette. I'm not, I, I can't say too much about it. I mean, so far, I'm just like, oh, this is quite disappointing. Yeah, it's not making me excited so far. Yeah. Like, I just feel like if he, if his essence is still around, he's probably like, oh, for God's sake, what have they done? What have they attached yeah. me to? What have you done? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird. And uh, speaking of a bit weird, you know exactly who you are for tagging me in this, right? You know exactly who you are and I adore you for it. This is Rehab Cosmetics and this is their Send Nudes eyeshadow palette. This is $26.99 for the same shade repeated about nine times. Yeah. So if I you really like that one shade. I <laughs> I don't want to even get into this. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> so bad. I want to prove this too. So bad. Like, even like the like the way it's presented looks really bad. Yeah. And I love how they're like perfect for day to day or smoky looks. And I'm like, what smoky look could you do with that? For who? For who? Like, I'm. I maybe it's deeper. That's the one thing is I was like. Yeah, the Could pictures it look I always in real life, but like this is barely has a crease shade, yeah. like and then the black. Like I mean, I don't like I if just, the I'm black not... even like if that is a black. It's a big if if it's yeah. a black. It looks like it's shimmery. Yeah, it does, doesn't oh, it? God. Like no, 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 pass. Yeah. Computer says no. Yeah, obviously I'll be buying it. Uh, no, that would be sending it to Elena. Know. Yeah, <laughs> that would be how you know that I'm I'm really not well. That would be like the message on my, that, my that, panel. That, like, then you I'm being held hostage. Actually, hates you if she sends you this palette. Yeah, it's like no. You know, like how um, like the mafia have that whole thing of like a horse's head or something. Like my version of that would just be sending this palette to people. <laughs> like you're in my bad box. Dead to me. The last thing we're going to talk about in detail is Cash Beauty. I have a, a chunk of face products and they're all cream, 
cream. I don't know why I'm saying it that way. So they have bronze, blush, and highlight sculpting sticks, and they come in various different shades. Choose <laughs> your favorite shade of bronze, blush, and highlight. Oh, you're right. Stick. You get a trio for 49 Yeah, days. because I was so euros. confused, like, why would you want them all? Okay, it's still not that bad, actually, for three, because it works no. out. I think she's overpriced. I think it's okay. I mean, I haven't tried anything from her yet. I am I mean, supporting her on principle because she's Irish. I like her, but her <laughs> products have been so far too neutral for me. And I'm so confused of why. Because her makeup style isn't always like her first palette with um Sosu was like really pretty. Yeah. All of, all of like maybe her makeup style now is more neutral. But when I watched her, she did like crazy looks and I actually like that. So I'm just waiting on something more interesting. I do like the blush sticks. I yeah. like, I don't hate this. Like, I think this is actually a good release. Cream products are so in right now. So this isn't bad, but I'm just waiting on something more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't hate it. If that orangey blush stick found its way into my house. I need to use it. But that's it in terms of the new makeup releases that we're going to talk about. So that means we're into the lightning round. And of course, we have to talk about Revolution. Revolution Skincare, they have their Hydro Bank hydrating line. So there's a moisture mist for £10, a cooling eye balm for £8, and water cream for £14. And then Makeup Revolution have their glossy brow kit in medium and dark for £6. Yeah. Then we have Pretties for Your Face, and they have the Polymorphs, whatever they are. So they have five different shades, and they're available now. Oh, this next one, again, you can see this comes back to them just getting these things from certain places. This is Papa Lash and their new Re Reflectance collection. Mm. And they have their Manic Episode palette. Okay, look, I know I didn't put this into the big section, but I'm going to say this right now. That is not appropriate. Yeah, um, that's not, not appropriate. If you would have, like, if you would actually donate the cost of, like, mental illness, like, all of that kind of associated, then I would be like, maybe, but you're not, no, yeah, no. Like I know it says this palette represents her struggle with a very difficult manic episode that led her to be diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Okay, but I get, you know, you, you can take ownership of these phrases when it's your mental illness, but this could actually be very triggering for some people. I just yeah. think... It's not right. I think she could have named the palette. Like, I love the self-love. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's, like... A really nice message. Original, yeah. but it's good name. So, I, I just... And I don't know how these go together. Like Yeah, yeah. And, of course, they have the highlighters <laughs> that we've seen from 5,000 yeah. different brands. Beauty Bay have this ultimate self-care kit. So they have a couple of different things, including like a Foreo uh, cleansing kajigger and some cleansing bits and pieces. And that is £40, but apparently it has a, a recommended retail price of £149. Crystal Fairy Cosmetics have their Fairy Blush palette. It's very, very pink. And then they also have this really weird angelic fairy highlighter palette. Then Kinda Cosmetics have some new upgraded pigments. Then we have Mira Beauty and they have their House of Avarice collection. It features the Lust and Greed 9 pan eyeshadow palettes for $21 each and an Envy Glitter Quad for $12. The Glitter Quad looks like something that I saw from Revolution a couple of years ago. I'm glad that they took, because I think their first release, they had glitter in the palettes. And so I, I really do appreciate when brands are like, they just like, hey, we're hearing you that if you like glitter, we'll give it to you straight. And if you don't like it, we won't put it in there. Yeah. I agree, those, I think that's smart. Doesn't too. those palette look like Huda dupes? Then Unicorn Cosmetics have their limited edition summer collection. That's all stuff that we've essentially seen before. Primark have their Cosmic Connection collection and it basically includes this brush set. So yeah, it's, it's Primark, not Primark. I don't know where you're going off to call it Primark. Norvina Cosmetics, because of course ABH <laughs> has the sub brand Norvina, have come out with six new lash styles and they are 13 euro each. I don't even yeah. like this is literally like first it was the wipes. I mean, you was, did like, just say it is just, you said it is just litter. You don't even have to end the sentence of Ali. It is just litter. 
Then right. Poundland, if you're in the UK, they have a makeup gallery and apparently that's in Poundland now. Lorella Cosmetics have their Night Pinker eyeshadow palette. So it's a 10 pan and it has six mattes and four shimmers. It's 13 US dollars. We have the Collective Cosmetics and they have their Molten Metals collection and it has four shades. We have XNO Cosmetics with their Nude Boss eyeshadow palette and it's $29.99. In addition to that, they also have their Mermaid eyeshadow palette for $37.99. I do actually quite like, like the look of that one. VE Cosmetics have had a week because they are just coming out with so much stuff. They have their Lover's eyeshadow palette, which is already available now. It's at 28 pounds. And they also have their Moon Dust Duochrome Flakes. They're $12.67 each. And they also have this new set of lashes. They're in style pumpkin. So they're black bottom lashes and copper top lashes. Mm. So that's kind of kind of interesting. Oh, those copper top lashes with so bad. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to see them though. I think they could be kind of interesting, like for some reason. I'm really... sorry, but they look like that you have with concealer. Like when you do you know the trick that you put concealer on the lashes and then add like eyeshadow on top and it like yeah. colors your lashes that looks like that victoria beckham has launched their matte bronzing brick and they're in five different tones let's be real the <laughs> darkest tone is not dark <laughs> 58 dollars she really loves her brick things like she did that with her eyeshadows I don't get it just put something between the two shades please yeah. Vive then have their new skin do and that's available i believe now called beauty jelly wink cosmetics and this is a pretty big palette 61 dollars 99 holy mackerel it's expensive i do think there's a couple of re not quite repeat shades but shades that are going to look similar I'm, I'm mostly looking at those red tones so then we have peachy queen who know. are assaulting our eyelids or our eyeballs or whatever with this absolute atrocity they claim it's their california love but i think they actually just don't like california <laughs> and, uh, this is what they have it's 42 at least it's nine. not bear shaped they also have come for colorado guys and this is their colorado one and that's 42 dollars 99 uh they're really I hate those marble. marble shades yeah like i, I just i want to know what color it's gonna be yeah then jouet have this so there's a nine pan eyeshadow palette it's all about the french riviera it's their summer 2021 collection the palette is $34. They have a Honey Kiss Shimmer Lip Kit for $38. And you can get a Blush and Bloom Cheek and a Lip Duo for $32. Wishful from Huda have their Rose Quartz Depuffing and Sculpting Roller, $37. That's expensive. And they have what can only be described as a new depth of horror. And um, this is their Wrap It Up Face Mask Holder. What? Well, I, I do think like I've seen this before on like Korean beauty. They put like a on top of your face max. Like this is a new thing. Twenty-three dollars. Who's trying to, who you imagine just like, trying to like? This is? I think oh. this this isn't bad, but I wouldn't get it from Huda for that price. Like I just go from wish. Then we have Cara Beauty and they have two new palettes. The grey one looks like a dupe of the stone box and anyways, they have their Cleo Queen and they have their Goddess Nym and they are $26.99 now. Uh, Jeff Wait for the, I've gotten two of those palettes for $8.99 at TJ Maxx. Just wait. Jessup then have a pansy purple collection, so I mean they look cute, you know. JB Cosmetics have their cocoa lip gloss, it's apparently coconut flavor, and that is six dollars. We have Indie Beat Cosmetics and their Love Harmony Blush and Highlight palette is twenty five dollars. I do like the orange. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. surprised I said that. I say it every week. So what's but with that? that? Weird purple. I, yeah. Yeah, no, that purpley, like, what are you going to do with that? But it's a shimmer? I so is it a highlight? It's very weird. Yeah, it's know. highlighter. Yeah. Then we have Winky Lux and their Galaxy Kitten palette. It's $25 and it looks awful. I'm so offended that they have like three white shades. But how dare they associate kittens with this? Kittens yeah. do not okay this. Then we have Half Caked Makeup and this is their Snack Pack eyeshadow palette. It's $18. Metamorphosis BF have their Madame Growl palette. It's no. 
Yeah. No, how dare you? Fifteen dollars ninety. It's not the absolute worst I've ever seen. Yeah, but you couldn't have like four pan palette, maybe five pan palette because they do have that brown there. Come yeah, on. fair. Come yeah. on. Flawless Cosmetics have some pure pigments. They're twelve dollars each. There's six of them. Park Avenue Cosmetics have five new shades of some lipstick or liquid lips. They're thirteen dollars ninety nine each. We have a chunk of stuff coming out from Wicked Sister Cosmetics. There's a 16 color eyeshadow palette, it's $28. They have a four color blush and highlighter palette, which, uh, okay, is $28. They have five different neon color, 10 makeup brush sets. So there's like 10 pieces. Looks to like ones. wish brushes or yeah, like. Yeah, they do. And then they have some lip glosses, they're $15 each and five different colors of mascara, they're $14 each. Oh, yeah. Don't like them. Yukuna Glow. It's apparently an Australian-based, cruelty-free and vegan beauty brand. And they have five new nine pan palettes. So there's the Broom Palette, the Daintree Rainforest, the Desert Country Palette, the Sea Water Palette, and the Uluru Palette. And they're 35 Australian dollars each. So that's $27.47 of the US. Rose Glam Boutique have this rose eyeshadow palette. It's already on sale for $21, but it's apparently normally going to retail for $29. Impulse Black have their Kerr and Mel palette. There's 16 shades and it's $24. They have two different lip classes. So one is Kerr and one is Mel and they're $5 each. Or you can bundle them together for $8. Ellen V Boutique and Cosmetics. We've talked about them many times before. They're the ones that don't know what's going on. They have a sex codes palette. They have a dirty secrets palette and then they have a schoolyard collection. And, and now they have this. So this is a collaboration with Jess Lee Country, don't know who that is, and they have a brush set, they have a Zoom ticket, whatever that is, a face mask, and they have this palette, which looks, let's be real, a little bit like the Sample Beauty Plush palette. We also then have Para Lashes, and they have their Michoacana, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Dreamy Coco have their Dreamy Guardian collection, they have the Dreamy Coco eyeshadow palette for $24.99, and three mini lip glasses for $8.99 each, which seems very expensive. Mark Wilde Cosmetics have a green metallic metal matte lipstick and it's 17 US dollars. I really wish <laughs> this wasn't metallic. It just looks so bad. Yeah, if it wasn't metallic, I like the shade. That would be so interesting as a liquid lipstick without the metallic. Yeah, the that looks so looks horrible. And I, I know I don't have the widest teeth, but with the picture, like I don't like the, the teeth looks so yellow and it's just like, I don't have the widest teeth, but still that's, that just puts mm. me a little bit off. Then GLS Cosmetics have their duochrome mermaid collection and there's five different shades of loose pigments. They're $6.99 each. And they also have some additional chrome pigments. Carmetics and their Glam Remix eyeshadow palette that is available for 25 US dollars. Shine by SD Cosmetics are releasing their Glitzified collection and their Dynasty bundle. So the Glitzified Glitter collection is $31. That has nine shades and their Dynasty um, multi-chrome bundle is $108. It's Belle Cosmetics have their Pearly Gates loose pigments. They're launching from May 16th. You can get them for six $6.99 each or you can grab the whole lot of them together for $32.99. Foolish Hustle Lashes have three different I feel like I've seen them do this before like this exact brand has done this they do like this bandana style and then they do a lot of monochromatic palettes anyways they have this the Riverside County eyeshadow palette they have the yellow bandana and then the orange bandana eyeshadow palette. Mm. Foiled Lips Cosmetics are coming out with an Ice Queen eyeliner it's in the shade white. Lausch & Co have their Fairy Dust Duochrome Flakes they're $8.99 I think this is really nice. This is Asgard Queen Cosmetics and this is their Fall Harvest blush and it's $10 on Etsy. Mm -hmm. Bella Beauty blog have their Angles of Illumination eyeshadow palette. It's 15 shades. It's six to nine dollars so expensive enough they also have two sets of lashes 16 dollars each and they're stuck af jewel pen for what? 15 dollars which is ridiculous go on to amazon or wish or aliexpress and then they also have a lip gloss in the shade hey girl for 20 dollars that's super expensive hey girl hey 20 dollars yeah they also have their ethereal matte lip veils they're 20 dollars each and they have eight shades omfg cosmetics have their flawless setting powder it comes in six shades and has a, a mirror and a puff 
And Moonlight Beauty have their Todoroki palette and it has nine shades. It looks very much like the palette that we were looking at earlier from was it Metamorphosis BF. And then they also have this palette. It's their Midoriya palette. I hate I it. Like I have it. a very... Why are they so bland? This is Lawless Beauty and they have a new shade of their Forget the Filler Lip Gloss in Daisy Pink. And it was apparently in honor of Mother's Day, but they were, they were only coming out with 100 units. Make Beauty is apparently a new skincare thing. So they have some removing oils, some serums, liquids, all that sort of thing. The, the prices aren't that bad. They're between 24 and I like the packaging. I like the packaging, but succulent skin wear serum it's just the name really like the word succulent you know it's the name it's like it's succulent skin. skill giant green does that just serum. mean it has aloe in it like probably yeah. yeah then we have nailed it nail polish and they have their taste the rainbow collection and that's available now for pre-order magical makeup uk are releasing their multi-chrome flakes and they are five different shades we have the fabulous burberry yes burberry and they have 31 shades of satin finish lipsticks. They're $37 each. Wow. Summer Fridays are releasing their limited edition pool time glowing body oil. Yeah. I've and never just, been into body oils. Just go to ColourPop. Just get ColourPop's one. This is for Tia. This is Hakagodu, which are well known for their brushes. They're like high, high end brushes. Apparently, they're meant to be amazing. They need to, to be. be fair. I have been interested in Hakagodu brushes. They're just so expensive, yeah. but I've heard that they're amazing. Yeah, they're top of the top. And uh, five of these brushes will set you back $225. We then have Live Tinted and they have their new rays of copper eye mask. It's $22. Holofrog, which is a very strange name. They have a new skincare thing. It's their Grand Amino Cushion Cream. Fourth Ray Beauty have their So Radiant Brightening Eye Cream and that is available now. It has vitamin C, all that sort of thing. Baby Face Lashes have their Lip Shaped Palette. Oh no. They didn't even bother to give it a different name. They just called it a Lip Shaped Palette. Neogen have their Airy Sunscreen. It's... SPF 50 and apparently has plant extracts and you can get it exclusively in the Soko Glam Sun Daily Defense Kit for $60. We have Makeup Maniacs Cosmetics and their multi-chrome pressed eyeshadows. There are 36 shades, 27 of them are $18 and then nine of them are $17. You can bundle six of them together for $85. The Sparkly's Glitter Gloss have two shades of loose shadows. There's Arcane Flight and Balance. Then we have Rebecca's favorite brand. This is Pout and oh. Shout. I like the idea of like upcycling and sustainability, yeah. but it always ends up looking like the it's reality versus world. expectations yeah. thing. Yeah. Like, oh, I think it's going to look like this. And then actually this is what you bought off wish. It's their Feral Palette Chapter 2 because there was a Feral original. <laughs> oh my there God. Was. I remember it. It burnt <laughs> onto my brain. I remember no. it. Yeah. I don't get what the price is, is like, whether like between those prices yeah it's sort of like offer what you want or is this like you can pay what you want between these prices yeah. ava turner cosmetics have their turner pressed highlighters you know we've seen them before yeah. two shades havana and globe they're 15 dollars each we then have jane iredale and they have the glow time blush stick and glow time highlighter stick $38 each. We have Ida Cosmetics and they have seven new lip oils in seven different flavors. That's coming out May 19th. And the very last thing that is being released is Clarity Cosmetics. They have their Blue Lagoon Multichrome and that is available from Friday, May 14th. So by the time this is up, you can get to grab a little bit on this if you feel like it. Yeah. But that's it in terms of the new releases. So that means we're on to the sneakers peekets. The little, you know, looksies under the boudoir. I don't know. My brain has kind of gone to mush these days. So, <laughs> operating on minimal sleep. So, the first thing we're talking about is Badass Beauties. And this is their wedding collection eyeshadow. I don't really get what this has to do with weddings. Other than it's kind of like the shape it's of like a diamond. diamond. Yeah. There's some pressed glitters in there as well. Just mm. FYI. Yeah. We have G Cosmetics. And they are launching this Gangsta Party Palette. Your yeah. favourite. My favourite. Oh, are, that theme. are you okay? Like, are, are you fine? 
what what's going on and even like the names of their lipsticks are things like killa loca yeah. there's certain things <laughs> that, like, i really don't think that we should oh, go right girl. On. and like crime is <laughs> oh my them. god i just i i can't take this seriously yeah. sorry yeah. it's very weird i don't i mean i like i i understand sometimes people are just trying to own like elements of their cultural experience but at the same time like it's been done this I mean I is that a glitter palette I don't know there's just like a lot of sometimes it's like you, you're not yeah. the, we've already had who didn't we have a gangster palette last week like, you know so you're not actually yeah. pr being particularly original sometimes yeah and I just, again like I said there's just certain things that I don't think we should glorify Bobby Brown is releasing a highlighter powder in this glowy beige shade that's what it says on 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 the Instagram. Chloe beige. Siren XO then have their influencer eyeshadow palette coming soon. Looks like it's child's coloring book. Yeah, kind like, of. Oh, you know, like when you were little and you'd get like this um kit of like colors and there'd be markers and pencils and there was always an inbuilt paint palette like in this big plastic thing that's what it reminds me of psycho beauty have their mother's day collection so they have an eyeshadow palette a matte lip kit a highlighter etc apparently that's coming out june 1st okay where is mother's day in june yeah. don't say it's part of a mother's day collection if you're missing the date yeah just say it's yeah. a new collection then we have coley cosmetics and they have some limited edition chubby lip gloss beauty bay have basically kind of said that they will be coming out with a vegan and cruelty free mascara at some point. Cleona Cosmetics are collaborating with Emily Violet Marie, and this is one of the shades. Oh, it's so pretty. It is pretty. I mean, they're they just, very they're pretty. a little hard to get, and they're Canadian, and they, the shipping, and I mean, I know people love them. Like, then Glam Light have kind of revealed one of the shades from their new palette. It's red velvet then tom ford are coming out with some duo blushes yeah when i looked at this i thought it was patrick tab oh oh my god oh. this next one i we sneak peeked this last week and then i saw the video after of of them swatching this and oh my mm. god it just look you know it's what i'm just like the truth stunning it's just i want i want it i want it all over my face <laughs> Like, I want to cover my party in it. Yeah. That's my new mating ritual now. Yeah. So I need 20 of these right now because I have a big body and I do need to <laughs> So, yeah, just really need to just put it out on the floor and I'll just roll around in it because that's the best way to really do it. Then we have Divina Cosmetics, and this is part of their Halo Moon collection. Then Glam Vice have given this sneak peek of something very sparkly oh like the look of that. we've talked about this a couple of like this has been sneak peeked i personally think to death at this point oh my god sydney grace have announced this collaboration with temtalia and we talked about this a couple of months ago that's how long this has been going on oh yeah, yeah. and we know yeah. that there are three palettes why not just stagger the palettes this has been going on to the point now that i was initially interested and now I don't care. It's just like, don't sneak peek something, say coming soon, if we're gonna have to wait months and months and months. Like, it's don't do it at all, Then I don't, yeah. I, I think it's gonna be old news when it finally drops. Like, I'm already tired and I haven't even seen it yet. Yeah. I think maybe, I mean, some of it, you know, with whatever's going on with shipping and production, but I also got the sense, like, maybe, um, I think it's Christina, the name of the one who runs Temptalia, like it was, she was kind of into showing the process, right? Cause she would show like, here's the samples and here's the color I picked. And the truth is like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, I think she's great. I really love Temptalia, but I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care that you had 14 shades that were almost identical and this is the one you chose. Like, it just doesn't matter to me. Magical Makeup have a couple of different liquid duo chromes and mm. they just look so pretty. Mm. Apparently they even have like a new pressed multi-chrome pigment and that's going to be available at the end of May. Mm. Then we have the Beauty Bar Cosmetics and they're releasing four multi-chrome flakes. They do seem to be kind of more oh. pastel -y shade. And then very lastly, Makeup Geek is coming out with something. To me, it looks a bit like a potentially like a setting spray or like foundation yeah but that is it 
That is the whole kit and caboodle, or the kit and caboodle, because I would like a poodle, because I feel like I'm a fancy lady and like I should have a dog that shows nothing but disdain for me. <laughs> like, that's because well, you made like, the mistake of getting all those cats that just love you. Yeah, I'm like, you're meant to hate me. And they're like, I love you so much. I can't actually. Now you have to go get a dog who has disdain for you. Yeah, like genuinely. Very, very, very sweet. I love them. Um, yeah, that's essentially it. And a, a little, a little teeny tiny announcement is uh, my best friend, Maeve, is getting married uh, next week on the 21st of May. So that means that the recording of or and or which normally takes place on a Thursday, is being changed to a Wednesday. So next week's episode probably will be missing some of the newer stuff. Still coming up on Saturday because I'm tired. Let me enjoy myself and go and do a wedding. So if you are very keen on tagging me on stuff for content for next week, make sure you do it by Wednesday. Wednesday. So that's it. Uh, do please like, comment and subscribe. Do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an STD. You know, in which case don't be pro. You know, wrap it up. But that's it. And we will see you in the next one. We have a lot of people on next week. It's, it's going to be jam-packed. Jam, jam, jam. Bye. Bye. Bye.